I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just want to show you what's next in Brussels Micro World. We have the XGLRC. This is the XJB F425. Uh, 25 standing for all-in-one BL Heli 25 amp ESC combo on here. So this will handle from 2 to 4S. And if you're looking to go to 4S, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. First off, you're going to want to start with an awesome 4S battery. And what I recommend is the Tattoo. I bought these off of Amazon. They're 450 milliamp 4S packs. Uh, let me see if I can see the C burst rating on here. 75C right there next to 450. So this battery is super, super legit. And finally, to really spice up your 4S Micro, you want to pick out these RS1106s by Emacs. These are awesome. They're 6,000 kV. They have a traditional mount pattern on the bottom. And on the top, you'll notice if you look at this motor, look at that. There's two different mounting patterns on the top. The one that goes to the furthest outside edge, that'll allow you to run those Baby Hawk props. So that's pretty cool. And the two on the inside right there, those are going to allow you to run traditional micro props like the Gem Fan, uh, which happened to be my favorite at the moment. Now let's talk about the star of the show today on this video. This is the HGLRC. This is the XJB F425. Now I had an F3 on the channel by HGLRC earlier this year and uh, it didn't have 25 amp ESCs on there. Look at that chip layout on there. It's pretty amazing. You have all your pins, your tabs on the outside edge here for soldering your motors up to 123, 123, and it should be in a traditional beta flight pattern. If you look this is a little arrow that points forward, and you have motor one back here, motor two, motor three, motor four. And you just solder on those three wires right here. And what's really nice about this is the fact that this is a pretty traditional layout. It's gonna be easy for you guys to solder up as far as micros go. Uh, you just need a fine tip pin, which helps out a lot. I've seen some guys use some broader tips, but uh, usually best to use a, a fine tip when you're soldering up wires to this one. Uh, it does have this F4 chip in the middle there, and if I unplug it, right here there's actually eight pins that plug into the bottom of this so no need to run an extra wire up to power this one from the main VBAT right there so your main terminals are going to come off here there's also a little tiny arrow right there pointing forward which tells you which way you need to plug these pins in and when you're plugging this in be kind of careful because it's easy to mess this up uh, and have one side off like that so make sure they're lined up when you plug it in so let's go ahead and take a look at this flight controller a little closer up and let me show you some of the stuff on here the f4 chip uh, and the boot button that you've seen already now on the bottom of this right here this is where the power and the signal comes from your esc this is great because you don't have to have any individual signal wires running from the ESCs up to this flight controller. Since we're using a four-in-one, uh, all-in-one here, we don't have to worry about that. That's great. So that eliminates four wires around the edge of this board. Now also, this one takes three different style receivers. You can get Spectrum DSMX. It'll also do SBUS and PPM. So pretty much any radio protocol is going to be supported on this board. Uh, so nobody's really going to be left out in the cold on this one. Now up front, at the very very top we have these three pins right here and that is for 5 volt signal and ground for your camera coming in there and we have the video for the VTX right there video out this is going to be your signal your VCC and your ground over here for those three over here to the bottom right and over here on the other side we have ground PPM and S bus right there uh, over by the boot button right here, we actually have 3.3 volt and we have Spectrum DSMX signal right there for you guys. So uh, pretty nice. Everything is all on this board and it's pretty compact. So now you're looking at that 25 amp 4-in-1 ESC stack combo. You can see those pins coming off there that will run your signals up to the uh, flight controller. And uh, over here we also have an arrow, which is nice because I usually get confused about these, which way they're facing. Um, and next to that arrow we have the two positive and negative terminal there for running out to your battery uh, for powering your entire board and flight controller. Now, like I said before, it's pretty easy to solder up your motor wires to these uh, one, two, three here for motor one. 
motor two up here, motor three, and motor four. You just solder three wires from each motor, uh, and then you'll put them out on the edges of your quad frame. But this is also labeled. If you look on the bottom here, it actually says one, two, three, and four right there on the bottom of this ESC. So uh, pretty nice that they did that. And they put a little arrow here for us to tell us which way everything goes. So if I flip this over, you'll see one here and two there just like it is in Betaflight, so that's pretty nice. So I think this is gonna be a winning combo for this year. Uh, these flight controller 25 amp BL Heli ESCs with Betaflight on this one and OSD. Uh, you can also add a beeper on there. And uh, this tattoo battery, this is one of the hottest batteries out there right now for 4S Brussels Micro. Uh, it's pretty large, but with this 25 amp, and 1106 motor over there, this is going to rip uh, on 4S. So I, I think this is going to be a really a winning combo for the second half of this year. 2017 is going to be a, a pretty crazy year for brushless micros. We just keep getting more powerful and more powerful. So uh, they're definitely approaching flying like five inch quads. Uh, I was kind of a disbeliever of that at first, but now we're approaching like five inch performance and this is really awesome. So uh, check out the links below and you guys can look at the specs a little closer for yourself and decide if this combo is for you. So uh, thanks again for watching you guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.